I'm Mrs. Penny. Thanks for stopping in to join me for our second segment in our fluency training. Today we're going to be talking about traffic lights. You might be thinking, this lady's crazy. We're here to learn about reading, not about how to drive a car. But I'm here to tell you that reading is a lot like driving a car sometimes. There are some rules, just like when you drive a car, there's a few rules and laws to follow. That's how it is with reading. We don't ever want to break the rules or the laws of reading. So let's start with our red light. As you're reading, anytime you come to a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark, remember to stop. Stop. And let me demonstrate that for you now. I've got this paper here with a couple of sentences on it. I'm first going to read it without stopping. Listen how it sounds. There we go. My name is Sam, I love school. Can you hear that? I broke a law. This time I'm gonna follow the rules of reading and I'm gonna remember to stop when I come to those symbols, okay? Here we go. My name is Sam. I love school. Can you hear the difference? One more time, let me break the law again. My name is Sam, I love school. Those sentences run together if you don't stop, and it's really hard to get the meaning out of a sentence. The sentences when you do that. Okay, so that's the first uh, rule of reading in our traffic symbol light. Okay, so let's go on to the yellow light. What does that mean in reading? Well, let me tell you now. When you're reading, if you come to a comma, a colon, or a semicolon, it means to pause. And let me demonstrate that for you now. Here are the, here's the sentence I'll read for you. Now, I'm going to read first, and I'm going to break the law of reading. Listen and see what it sounds like. My favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. Didn't sound too great. Now, let me read it again, and this time, I'm going to follow the rules of reading. My favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. Could you hear the difference? I sure could. The last thing we're going to talk about today is the green light. When you get the green light, it means you're not seeing any of these symbols or these symbols. You're just reading the words there in the story. Read with good speed. Please be sure not to read too fast or to read too slow. We want you to be reading at a good steady pace. So I'm going to demonstrate a good pace, but before I do that, I want you to hear what it sounds like when someone reads too fast and when they read too slow. Let's start with too fast. Okay, I'm going to read those same sentences I was reading to you before. My name is Sam. I love school. My favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. Can you hear that that is so fast? It's even hard to even understand what I'm saying when I read that fast. This time, I'm going to read it really slow. My name is Sam. I love school. My favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. Okay, I hope you're still with me. That was really slow. Now, would you like to hear a good, even, steady pace? Yeah, you would. I know you would. So, let's hear it. My name is Sam. I love school. My favorite colors are green, purple, and pink. I hope you can hear a difference. So, let's just summarize what we've talked about today, and then we'll end with a fun story. We talked about when you're reading to obey the laws of reading, obey those symbols you come in contact with. Whenever you see a period, a question mark, an exclamation mark, stop. Whenever you see the comma, a semicolon or a colon, pause. And when you're just seeing the words on the page, read with good speed and good expression. So to end our segment today, I have a really fun story to illustrate the stops, the pauses, and the expression as you read. It's called, Yo! Yes? 
remember when you see those those um, symbols to read if you see the exclamation with feeling with excitement and the question mark your voice goes up let me demonstrate again yo yes now let's read fun story okay here we are yo yes hey who you me yes you oh what's up not much why no fun oh no friends. Oh, yes. Look. Hmm? Me. You. Yes, me. You. Well. Well, yes, yo, yes, yo. As you can see, these two young children became great friends. That story once again, yo, yes, great one. If you can check this out at your local library, practice reading and practice following. following those traffic symbols. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day and happy reading.